possible. I felt it go. My aircraft. Your aircraft. I want you to know I did the best I could. Of course you did. You saved everyone. People call you a hero. I don't feel like a hero. Show us your case, Supercell. There's been too much talk in the press already. You are watching the trailer to Sully, the number one movie in America, starring Tom Hanks and directed by Clint Eastwood. Here to join us now is one of the cast members of Sully. I'm really grateful to have him here. Known this guy a long time. We go way, way back. You may know him from Fox's Glee or ABC Family's Switched at Birth. Max Adler, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning. I appreciate well, it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, the very first play I ever did was with you, so it's pretty crazy <laughs> to be here with you now. We go back a long time. We got we a lot do. to talk about, so I want to dive right into it. Dive in. How does it feel? Number one movie in America. You're starring in it. How's that feel? Uh, surreal, a dream come true. I mean, Clint Eastwood, Tom Hanks, a true story. Uh, very fitting time for it to be released. I mean, to be a part of such this epic film, an mm -hmm. epic story, uh, it's just an incredible feeling and a dream come true. I had the opportunity to see it over the weekend. I thought it was fantastic. I thought you had a great performance. For the viewers at home that are maybe interested that don't know the story, could you explain really quickly what Sully's about and, and what your character is? Uh, absolutely, yeah. So Sully's the story of Captain Chesley Sullenberger, who went up and was only there for a few seconds before he got hit with a bird strike, which is geese attacking the engines, and basically the plane turned into a glider, and he was forced to water land and basically land on the Hudson and save everybody, but I play a passenger named Jimmy Stefanik, based on a real guy, and uh, and basically, you know, it's, it's just a story of people coming together in a time of tragedy. It's like, I, I would think in a, in a situation where the plane goes down, everyone would rush off and worry about themselves or their own family and kind of stampede over people, and this was not the case. Like, everyone came to Together, the gentlemen led all you know children and women off first. Uh, people gave clothes off their back to protect people that were you know shivering and freezing. Like it was an amazing story of really heroism from Sully, but all the passengers as well. You mentioned rushing and stampeding. I did. You <laughs> were obviously directed by Clint Eastwood. Talk a little bit about working with him and then one specific experience you had told me a little bit about. Uh, yeah, there's a scene when I'm running through the airport to try to catch the plane. And uh, as I'm running down the ramp, Clint Eastwood has a camera and he's backing up and I'm kind of running and talking over my shoulder to my uncle. And I'm running and I said, oh, come on, Uncle Robbie, we're going to make it. And right when I turn, Clint Eastwood's right there with the camera and I had to dive out of the way because I was about to crash into him. And, and he called me over and he's like, Listen, uh, when I said let's roll, I meant the cameras, not you and I. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. That is so uh, dirty, Harry. So right dirty, there. Harry. Yeah, that guy didn't knock him down. That would have been bad. Oh, <laughs> man, yeah. Oh, could have been, been, been really bad. Boy, I would have so, creamed him. <laughs> so I know also a lot of our viewers at home, they're looking at you and they're like, I recognize this guy. Uh, we all know you were Dave Karofsky in Glee. That was a very pivotal role at a very pivotal time. Um, talk a little bit about what that experience was like in that you think kind of that launched your career basically it was glee it was kind of the, the start of it correct uh that was that was the start that kind of changed everything and as you know big nip tuck fan and i uh, <laughs> love ryan murphy and so and i did show choir and so to be on a show that he created that uh Wow, look at you know there, that's that's years ago, uh, um, but yeah. So I mean, it really it tackled bullying at a time when bullying was all over the news. It was you know on Anderson Cooper and Ellen, and you couldn't turn on the TV without hearing about a tragic uh, suicide or a loss of a of a teenager who's going through you know bullying at school. And I think what this show and this character did was kind of shine a light on the victims of bullying and show them that you know it's not your fault, you don't deserve it. Like being who you are and being unique is Absolutely. what makes you special and what's awesome. And the bully is the one that has some problem. And, and so to get to portray that and hopefully help a lot of people was, was amazing and it kind of transcended yes. just a TV show. And then you're also gonna be in the upcoming season and you've been on Switched at Birth for a while in another very <laughs> kind of socially relevant role. Correct? Yes, uh, Switch to Birth tackled campus assault and uh, accusations of rape uh, on, on campuses, which is still a very, you know, hot button issue. And, and um, this is the scene right here we're taking a look at, right? This is the scene right here. Yeah, this is when we're talking about what really happened because there was kind of a, a gray area in that they dated before and there was previous consent and, you know, it kind of tackles both sides for, from the guy's point of view of that you know, yeah, you want to hear yes, but not necessarily silence doesn't mean yes. You know, you, you, you have to like get the consent. So that kind of is a lesson for all the guys out there. And then just to show about the accusations, what that can do to somebody. Like once you're accused, 
it kind of ruins your whole right. life. So it's a very slippery slope, and you have to know what you're getting into, and we tackled that. Very, very hot button, button issues, and I, man, I wish we had the entire segment to keep talking. And folks, we're going to be doing a Facebook Live after the show for more Q&As. We're going to really dive into it even more with uh, Max over here. <laughs> and speaking of, tonight, you are in the season finale that's replaying tonight of Rizzoli and Isles. You yes. are guest starring tonight on TNT, correct? TNT, I believe 8 p.m. here in uh, California, and it aired last week, uh, but yeah, that are showing it again uh, tonight, and I have some good scenes with Angie Harmon, and she was a lovely sweetheart, and uh, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Max. Uh, thank you. And folks, stick around. More news, weather, and traffic. We come back right after the break. <laughs>